<laughs> what a we weird. Thing. It was a, it was a, in many ways a very sort of theatrical family in a sense, in in, in terms of their <laughs> behaviour. Because reading the research, I was very amused by, and again, it's got a resonance in the film because in the film there's this granny. Oh, who yeah. only Billy looks after, and she's going slightly gaga in a corner. And yeah. you had the same, didn't you? We did have a granny. Yes. Grandma came over in 1945, which was before I was born. And um, uh, she'd had a couple of strokes. My brothers used to say, at the third stroke, she <laughs> will be 78. <laughs> and um, she... Oh, she loved her. No. She, no, no, she was a bit doolally. I mean, I've just got this abiding image of her sitting by the fire in her chair, which nobody dares sit in, because when you sat in it, it went like this. <laughs> <laughs> because was it, it was soggy? a little bit soggy. Ah. And, don't sit in Grandma's chair, don't sit in Grandma's chair! We always used to say, you know, and there it was by the fire as well, not pleasant. <laughs> and, um, so I've got this image of her sitting in this chair with a black face eating a boiled egg with a pair of cold tongs <laughs> and that's the oh god love a grandma but but yeah things sort of i don't know things took a turn for the worst when she was uh, a pigeon shat on her hair <laughs> in trafalgar <laughs> square of all places and i think it's probably it's because of grandma you know that i, <laughs> I like playing old old ladies women. i yeah. think so yeah. yeah well you do don't you and it's you yeah. made a You've made something of a, not a career of it, but you made a kind of trademark of it. You, you play them beautifully well. Oh, I mean, that, that marvellous woman, I mean, um, Mrs. Overall in Acorn Antiques, I mean, it makes me laugh more than any other character. Oh, and I love, yeah, Mrs. Overall. She's in everything I do. It's mainly my back, of course. <laughs> but, um, yeah, no, I love Mrs. Overall. People used to think that uh, I had a, um, a, a hump made by wardrobe. <laughs> it's really embarrassing, because it was actually my own back. <laughs> <laughs> And, uh, and then I remember there was a makeup award was given for the, for, for the makeup on Acom. Oh, she's here. Makeup artist at the back. Sorry, Chrissy, about this. But there, there was a makeup award given for for um, the makeup on it, and they, they did they filmed me being made up. You know, and of course, people used to say, "God, it's marvellous makeup, isn't it?" Of course, it was hardly any. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little bit of lippy. I'm sorry, no makeup was what it was. And you love playing grotesques too, don't you? I mean, in Dinner Ladies, I mean, Victoria's mother. I mean, where does she come from? That one. Oh, from the depths of Victoria's mind. I, 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 what, what, she, I suppose she's a kind of mixture of. Um, uh, she's not quite a bad lady, but she is a bit like those she sort of women. Is, yes. but, but she's sort of fallen on hard times, that's why she lives in the caravan with all her clothes in a bag and, and, and lots of men, a lot of men have passed through that caravan. That's why she wears <laughs> a lot of uh, big jackets and things. And she's like a mixture of, of extras and people that, that we've both met, where they talk about, sort of grandly about things that they've done and really, you know, it's, it's like being two minutes in the presence of somebody, I don't know. I mean, I, I remember doing Buster with, with Phil Collins and we were in the foyer of this cinema and uh, we were about to do a scene, and I heard this voice say, yes, well, of course, when I worked with Larry, you know, and this, and this chap had done sort of like two minutes with, in a film with Laurence <laughs> Olivier, and, and I think that's what, she's like that, she's yes. probably been a cleaner in a, in a theatre somewhere, and, 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 you know, happened to go into Frank Sinatra's dressing room once, <laughs> you know, but just... And is that what you imagine when you build a part? That kind of lair? You, you sort of imagine, where's this woman come from? What's she done? Why, why has she arrived at this state? Rather than just do a, a grotesque character. No, I don't bother with it. You don't bother with it? <laughs> <laughs> I never was one for no, research. No, for research. On no. the Stanislavski method, <laughs> nothing like that at all. Oh, no, well, it's from the dancing. But what's it? interesting, I mean, somebody once said, one of your, your fellow actorines said, said once that uh, defined the best definition of a character actress, she said, uh, a character actress is the actress who the audience don't want to sleep with. How now, dare well, you? Well, I've lots of people. But, <laughs> but this is the point. I mean, you, I mean you, you, you're very glamorous, you see. And, and glamour is, it is, it's true. Don't, don't, you see, you do this immediately. <laughs> it's like Victoria Woods said, you're always the first to put the false nose on. Yeah. You know, and, and, and I just wonder, did you deliberately avoid that glamorous image? Is that something that's... Well, it's a bit frightening glamour, isn't it? Is it? Uh, yeah, I suppose, I, uh, somewhere I feel I'm not up to that. I think that's what it is. Really? But uh, it's a mixture of that, and I'm not quite... What is glamour? It's, a bit, it's kind of like, it's tinsel, isn't it? I I'm not quite sure what it's meant to mean, mm. I suppose. I suppose it, dynasty and things like that, I think of as glamorous. Hollywood's glamour. Yeah, but it's kind of unreal. I don't... Do you know what I mean? Hollywood. You turned that down, didn't you? You wouldn't go down. I love that. I turned it down. Yeah, I did. You did? <laughs> so you yeah. turned your back on it? Yeah, I did. Could've... Well, like, yeah, I did like this. <laughs> like this like, straight off. You well, could have gone and you didn't. Well, I could have gone. Yeah, at the time of educating Rita, yes. I could have. But they didn't know what to do with me. You know, and they, they were just sending me sort of scripts that were like sort of 1970s comedy, you know, sort of romantic comedies that Glenda Jackson and George Siegel had done very well ten years earlier. Do you yes. know what I mean? Yes. 
they just do. And I you know, unless you're Jane Seymour, let's face it, I'm always being confused for her. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Everywhere but, I go. But let's, let's, let's come back up to date because apart from Billy Elliot, you're also starring in a national theatre production of, of All My Sons. Yeah. Um, the Arthur Miller play. Yeah. Uh, and that's that's very sort of a serious part, isn't it? That's yeah. a great tragedy. Um, it, 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 does it emotionally get you playing a part like that? Oh yeah, I mean, you can't help it. I mean, the play is—it's like a roller coaster. Yes. It really, it really does get you. I mean, just from the read through, everybody's <gasps> You know, it's just very, very moving. Mm. And, um, oh, I mean, the play itself is incredibly moving. And Grant came to see it at the first preview and he said there were so many people crying in the back roads, he couldn't hear what we were saying in the last <laughs> scene. <laughs> no, because it is incredibly moving. And, yeah, that, it does, it's exhausting. And, and you know? you're, play, but you're playing it on a, in a kind of open plan theatre, aren't you, in a sort of open stage? Yeah, yeah, you can see the audience if you bother, really, you can't with my eyes. But you know, they're so close and they're lit. You know, I mean, the first night I walked down the stairs and I could see Benedict Nightingale, the critic mm. from the Times. I could see, as soon as I spoke... <laughs> you know, and I thought, oh, no, and as soon as I got, you know, so you can really see them, and they're very close, it's set in a garden, you know, and it's a bit of a real lawn, and it actually grows, when we've been away, they're sort of really high underneath the benches and things, you know, and they have to water it and all sorts of stuff, and um, so they're on either side, and, and the audience are very close, and you feel like they're in the garden with you, and one that somebody actually collapsed, and um, it was terrible, actually. I, I, had my, I had my back to him. I was doing this speech, you know, to Catherine McCormack, who's also in it. And I suddenly heard somebody go, Oh, God. <laughs> Honestly, bored, yes. <laughs> you know. And, uh, anyway, I carried on with this speech. A difficult bloody speech as well. Anyway, so I carried on with it. And, oh, no. <laughs> Honestly. So anyway, at the end of it, I kind of went off, you know. And um, I had, at the end of the speech, I, I leave the stage. And then I heard, boom, 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 boom. boom he was having some kind of seizure. Well, the audience, honestly, they all joined in. It was, it was really bizarre. They were all shouting across, hey, I think he's had a stroke. Get him, a, get him an aspirin, somebody. <laughs> yeah, I think he's got... And then someone from the other side said, well, I've got a paracetamol. Looking in our back. <laughs> it was so weird. And the actors who had been speaking in American accents all night, you know, <laughs> suddenly start talking in their London accents or they sort of wherever one of them's from Lincoln and places like that, you know. They said, well, I don't know, shall we get an ambulance? <laughs> So it is straight, but it's been fantastic. Yes, yeah, so you've got I've your marvellous, marvellous reviews. And it's, that's finishing shortly, isn't it? It is, and yeah. you're doing the promotion for Billy Elliot. And then what after that? I don't know. Harry don't Potter. Know. Harry Potter? Who said that? I, I read we, it somewhere. You know more than me. Oh. Well, I don't know. I'm, they, 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 I don't know about that. There might, mm. might be. Mm. I, but I can't say. You can't say? I don't think I can I heard you sign, I heard you sign a four-piece four deal. I, I, that's what I read. Honestly, these people, they know more than me. Yes. No, I haven't signed anything. No, you haven't. I haven't. You but haven't. I won't, no, no, I don't know what's happening with that. You don't? No. All I don't right. whether I'm going to do it or not. All right. But do you know I've what... I've been offered it, yeah. You have been offered it. Mm. Uh -huh. And what else? Anything else? What, mind your own business. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> I mean... I've been waiting 400 shows to sort of say that to me, <laughs> saying what you're doing next. Mind your own shot in business. Yeah? <laughs> uh, I'm going home for a cup of tea. That's, that's what I'm quite doing. right. Well, well, all the best with the film. I don't think I need wish you luck with it because I think it's going to do really, really well. It's a film well worth seeing, Billy Elliot. Thank Julie you. Walters, thank you very much indeed. Julie Walters. Thank you. <laughs>